The finite life of a caterpillar has been my life for the past two years. And I think there is nothing else I've ever made that encapsulates my truest self more than this project does. I think there is a lot of pain in it and there's a lot of joy in it and there's a lot of celebration in it. And I'm just incredibly proud of it. Just about two years ago, I had to stop everything and my life came to a halt. And it wasn't because of COVID or anything that was happening at the time. It was more because I had overworked myself and driven my body so far to its edge that I had to stop because my body just couldn't go on anymore. And it completely changed everything in my life and the way I was making music and the way I was writing songs and the way I was looking at myself. And that's when the songs for this project were born. I think as humans, as we go through life, we often forget to really feel and let our emotions be present. And I think as we push them away, our body eventually will find a way to tell us that they're there. The main thing I realized while I was working on this record was that we're not born fully developed. You know, we're not born perfect and we might never be. And that's quite all right. <laughs> And I just realized, I think, if I can make it through this low and really feel everything that's going on with me right now, I might come out the other end a more beautiful me. And I kind of felt like a little caterpillar that really had to just fully dissolve itself to come out the other end a butterfly. And that's just what this project means to me, you know? And what I'm hoping to give into the world and other people's lives is we um, just need to give ourselves a lot of time and nurture and love to really become ourselves in an unapologetic way. And you can find this record anywhere where you can find music. It's called The Finite Life of a Caterpillar. I'm Mikhail. Lots of love. Thank you for listening.